Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is just me today here for a quick tips video on how to get verified on Instagram. Recently, we actually got one of our clients verified on Instagram and we asked you on Instagram, hey, while we were celebrating, we we're like, you know, it's always fun to get this is a good accomplishment, it's a good achievement, you know, it's always fun when you get that nice blue check mark. So we asked you guys, hey, do you want us to break this down for you? And you said yes. Oh, sorry, let me double back. If you're new to the channel, we are High Season, a social media agency that helps business owners, entrepreneurs, and marketers step their social media game up and break the algorithm. Now, we recently got our client verified on Instagram. We asked you over on our Instagram if you'd like us to break down this process to you, and you said yes. So this is what we are dedicating our quick tips video to today. The Instagram verification process has actually changed. And this is the new Instagram verification process that we use because we have previously applied to be verified. But the way that they have changed it has actually made it, in our opinion, much easier to get verified now. And this wasn't announced anywhere. I haven't even seen anybody talk about it. I actually just noticed it. And then I was like, oh, this has changed. This is looking a little bit more simple or like more beneficial to proving notoriety. So in the end, I was like, okay, let me try to apply again. And we we were verified within 24 hours. So going to be breaking that down for you today. Let's get started. Now let's talk about verification and what that means. Being verified on Instagram means you have that little blue check mark and it means that Instagram has verified that you are who you say you are. So usually you see this with notable celebrities, notable entrepreneurs and figures, some influencers as well and major brands. And basically it just gives that additional social proof that you are legit basically. And most of the time this is usually done through PR agencies, or through whatever company is representing this major brand or influencer. Technically, we're, we were the agency representing this brand. However, we're not in PR, so we did this without knowing anybody. We didn't even use, you know, Facebook is our client, and we didn't even ask our client Facebook to help out this other client because it's kind of weird. So we did it on our own without having any connections or leveraging any of our connections and just made it happen. So now that we know what the verification badge is, I'm gonna be breaking down the process on how to actually go about getting verified on Instagram. First thing that's important as well to note is that there are actually parameters that Instagram has, so you want to consider whether or not you fit into these before you go through with the process. All right, so I have jumped into High Seasons Instagram account here, and where we're gonna to go to request verification is in our settings, so. You're gonna want to go to settings. Can you like see the phone? Oh yeah, I am in the shot. Okay, I didn't know if you could see the phone or not. So I'm in settings. Um, maybe, let me let me head up over here so there's like enough room on this side here. I'm going to go to account, and then there's going to be that request verification. So you see, they're making it pretty simple for you in terms of where to actually look to get this done. Um, and then straight up there, apply for Instagram verification. So anyone who has seen this before, this has actually changed. And that's what we're going to be walking through today because I think this is what has made things so much more easy. So first things first, step one, confirm your authenticity. Your username should auto populate. Then you're going to enter your full name. The full name is your business name. Or if you are a uh, notable figure, an influencer, for example, blogger, that's where you put your full name. Then you're gonna to navigate to document type. So what we used was the articles of incorporation for our client when we were getting them verified, but you can use any of these as well. Specifically, if you're say a partnership or you're just, you're not incorporated, then that's where you wanna drop like your utility bill or tax filings or anything like that in order to leverage that documentation. Um, but you can also, um, if you are a blogger or influencer, that's where you put your driver's license or passport or any other identification card that you have. For iPhone users, attaching documents is so, so annoying. So what we did and which we recommend too is just saving that document as a JPEG or PNG so you can have it in your camera roll. For example, here I'm going to use the recent utility bill and then you would be able to just choose a file from your photo library to get that done. Once we filled out that detail, we're going to go over to confirm notability. And this is where the game changer happens. This is the section that they've changed, which I believe made it so much easier to get verified this time around. If anybody remembers, the the, the previous way was pretty vague. They didn't really live, let you give a lot of information, but now they've really expanded the section out, which really just means like they probably want to verify more people. So here's where you're going to show that you are 
who you say you are and why people might be looking for you online or really just like how to prove that you're legit and have a presence in other places. So you're going to choose your category, which they also expanded out, which I love. And they've actually included digital creator, blogger, influencer. So that's super key to the influencers out there. Gamers. Here's looking at you, Dan. You see, Dan is our video editor, but also has a gaming account. So yeah, that's looking at you, Dan, if you want to get verified. So that's where you would put who you are, entertainment, fashion, music, etc., news or media. For our client, we use global brand or organization because it's a company. So in the audience section, it's going to say that you can make it optional, but I recommend that you fill that information out. Always give as much information as you can. There's no reason not to. So this is where you're really going to describe the type of people who follow your account, why they follow your account. And this is where we were specifically saying like, oh, this is account is where travelers go to be inspired. They're also looking for places to stay. We want to make sure that we're not impersonated. And because the brand is growing, we want to make sure that people know that it's legitimately us. So I just put like one or two lines there. I think that's key in giving Instagram as much information as possible when they're making their decision. Um, the next thing that they ask you to put in is your AKA. So if you're also known as something else, definitely put that in. So if they're looking for you online, they'll be able to find you in different ways. So if you have, say for example, if your Instagram handle is under your blog's name, make sure that you're also saying like, okay, yeah, my Instagram blog is fashion tips for women. But so you might find me at Fashion Tips for Women, but you might find me at Tiffany Alexis as well. So that's really key in putting that information there so they can look you up. Now the links, they also say is optional, but my goodness, this is the most important part. This is not optional. This is where you actually want to give them as much information as possible. And I maxed out in this section when applying for verification. So what's great here is now they're letting you add articles, social media accounts, and other links that show your account is of public interest. And the social media accounts is so key here. So looking at any YouTuber out there who is looking to get verified on Instagram, this is a really good opportunity for you to drop your YouTube link here. Because there are a ton of people who could have like a hundred thousand, doesn't even matter, the number doesn't really matter, but be quite notable on YouTube and have a following on YouTube. And then someone can impersonate you on Instagram, for example, or you just that's not crossing over in terms of like you're verified and obviously YouTube knows who you are and trusts you, but you don't have that verification on the Instagram side. So now this is a great opportunity to show that people are following you, watching you, and looking at your content. Drop that link in this section here. Maximize the links if you can. So enter your social media links. Also enter any notable earned media. So any content pieces around you. So if you've ever been featured in a blog post, if you've ever been featured in an actual article from like say any news organization or just any notable publication, put everything that has ever mentioned you ever into this section, drop every single link, even drop a link to a PDF if that makes sense because you might have been featured in something that's not necessarily um, digital, like a physical article, news piece or something like that that you actually scanned and uploaded to the internet. Any of those you're going to want to drop there, they're going to be so key because that's what they're using to determine. I max this out at the five links that they let you have. So you can keep just adding links at the bottom there until you max it out. So include all your social media profiles especially if you have a notable following and to make sure that you're including any piece of article, anything on the internet that has mentioned you in it previously, you're going to want to put that here. And then step three is that you hit that submit button and you wait it out. So once you've hit submit, you should know in about three to five days, whether or not you have been um, accepted and verified, you will just get that blue check mark. I just had a notification that came up and said like, Hey, your account has been verified. I'll pop it here actually, because I think I did screenshot it. Cause I was like, Oh my gosh, like that worked in 24 hours. It's really, really cool. So that's how you get that process done. And also just want to talk about some additional ways that you can help yourself get verified on Instagram. Like we've been building this account for a while now. Um, and I definitely believe that that's what helped us in getting verified. So some things you want to consider are keeping consistent, keeping a consistent, strong presence on the Instagram platform. Let them know that you're a good user. We have a ton of content available on this. We'll link to our playlist description about Instagram tips below. And I'll also leave it here for you to click through as well. Uh, second, 
look to get earned media and you can get earned media by connecting with writers but also just connecting with a PR agency especially if you're a blogger it might make sense a blogger influencer any brand it's gonna make sense perhaps to just leverage a PR agency um, or just a, a public relations expert to have them get you in a few pieces of articles it doesn't need to be crazy it doesn't need to be Forbes it just needs to show that you are mentioned in different places to increase your chances of being seen as notable so seek out writers seek out PR agencies or any public relations experts out there to see if you can get yourself covered in a few pieces. It's only going to benefit you from a brand awareness perspective in addition to being verified on platforms like Instagram. And third, build your presence off of Instagram because that's also really going to help you. So if you're somebody who has a notable presence elsewhere like a platform like YouTube, that's really going to benefit you now that you can drop your social links and proving that you're notable somewhere else and should be able to leverage that notoriety to bring that over to Instagram and help you in the verification process. So guys, that is it. A quick tips video on how to get verified on Instagram using the new methods that have just been released in 2021. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe below and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any other videos from us. Thank you so much for coming back to watch another video. Let us know if you run through this process in the comments below. Let us know if it worked for you. Obviously not everybody can get verified immediately. It might take some time and that's why I left those last few tips at the end of this video too because it may be a process right you might not knock it out in the first run but using these tips to build your presence online and leveraging um, earned media is going to be so so key in helping you get verified on this platform and legit we did it we know it works so thanks so much for coming back we will see you in the next video check us out follow us on instagram follow us on facebook everywhere at high season co we will see you next time around peace